Hello everyone, my name is Ethan. I'm a flutist studying here in Paris on a Fulbright grant. I'm a music student at the École Normale de Musique de Paris. Yeah, I'm just trying out this new vlog style video. I post a lot of like tutorials and recordings of myself, but I don't do too much of this kind of thing, so I'm just trying it out. This is what 500 euro gets you in Paris, just about. And that's being generous, I will say. And this is the view. I live in this sort of like college housing. Like I would call this a dorm, but it's not technically a dorm. But look at this view. I love looking out the window, it's so pretty. Today is not a particularly interesting day. I just have one class. So I'm just gonna practice until then, until it's time to go. Today there probably won't be much footage, but that's why I'm showing you the whole week. Probably one of my favorite features of this place. You can just see the Eiffel Tower in the distance. Look at her. She's so bold. All right, I've switched to my phone because I don't want to be carrying a camera around Paris. That just does not sound like a good idea. I just practiced for a couple hours, got some good practice in, and now I'm heading to my class. The weather really changed. Yeah, it rained a lot while I was practicing and now suddenly it's sunny again. That's one thing about Paris in the winter is that it's like, if you've heard the typical weather for London, Paris and London are very close together. So Paris is kind of the same thing. Very rainy, cloudy, pretty much all the time. So this weather is kind of awesome. This doesn't happen a lot, I will say. So living in Paris has been a dream of mine for so many years, obviously. So. I've worked so hard to get here, and so it's so incredible. There's so many amazing things about it, but it's not all, you know, this super romantic, gorgeous lifestyle that you imagine in your head. It's so many things. It's so difficult, it's so challenging, it's overwhelming, as well as all the great things too. And so that's why I mentioned the weather. It can be really just mentally draining sometimes. Okay, I'm off to class. My class is déchiffrage, which means sight reading. So I have a class where we just like sight read stuff. It's kind of cool. Usually is really really boring, but today was actually kind of fun. Yeah, we played like contemporary pieces, which are super hard to sight read, but it was really fun. Um, also, you heard a little bit of a Baroque piece that we read. But yeah, I'm finally home. All I have to do now is do some errands. I have to get groceries and practice and do some homework, and that's not particularly interesting. So maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Bonjour. I have a bit more of a crazy day today. So I have class right now, not right now, well, I have to leave right now, but I have music history and then I have my flute class. I'm actually enrolled at another school that my teacher teaches at so that I can have two flute lessons per week. Sometimes it gets a little crazy. Um, and after that, I have to record a little bit and then I'll come home and practice and do work as usual. It's just another Tuesday, y'all. Alright, 
So I'm heading to my other conservatory now for my lesson. So that class was really interesting. I love that class. It's funny because I don't actually need a music history credit. I've already gotten the credit from my undergrad. So I'm only taking that class to, to work on my French. And just because it's really interesting, just have my lesson and recording, and then I can go home for the day. So I'm just warming up for my lesson, and I feel like I'm probably not gonna record today after all because I'm just not having the best tone day, the best flute day, you know? Maybe it's the weather, you know, blame the weather. It's cloudy and dark and rainy and it's cold, but I feel like, I feel like my bad days are always my growth days. Like I have a bad day for the flute or, you know, just a less than optimal day. And, and you know, maybe, maybe it's in these low moments where we really make progress because as we're improving our skills, yeah, of course our trajectory is gonna be like this. Like as we're learning something, it's not always gonna just go like this, but it is gonna go like this, you know? So every time the pit is a little bit higher and I really feel that today, like I'm definitely in a pit, but it's a bit better than the last pit, I can tell you that. And maybe that's because during these pits, this is what allows us to really improve. Also, it's possible that maybe these bad tone days are actually just, our ears are more sensitive today. I don't know what it is, but I know that I'm gonna get better at the end of this. That's my spiel. I don't really know what to say. Today for my lesson, I'm gonna play Le Merle Noir. Good morning. I am incredibly exhausted. Yesterday after my lesson, I just practiced and did work the entire night. It was so exhausting. And now, I don't have class today. However, that does not mean it's not a busy day. I've gotten up early to practice because I'm meeting a friend for lunch, and then right after that, I'm going to meet this company who I'm playing a fundraising concert for, for my Fulbright project, which I'm actually really excited about. And that's down near Montmartre, so I'll be able to show you guys that. And then after that, I have a student who I teach English to, so kind of a busy day. The weather today is so ominous and dark and dismal. You can't really tell, but it's like scary and dark. But yeah, that's the plan for the day. So I'll see you later. Okay, I just met with the heads of this organization that I'm doing a fundraising concert for. They're letting me use their like house up here in Montmartre and it's it's so gorgeous. There's like this window with a view of the Eiffel Tower and literally all of Paris. Like something straight out of my dreams. You know what you see in the movies when you see like anyone living in Paris, there's always like the view of the Eiffel Tower. That's their apartment. I've never seen anything like that and I feel like I'm not allowed to be playing there. But yeah, I'm super excited to do that fundraising concert, it's gonna be great. Now I'm heading back to my place because I have some work to do and I have to teach my student later. So yeah, heading home. I'm finally home. I spend way too much time on public transportation. That's one thing about Paris, you kind of have to take the metro or tram or bus everywhere because I mean, it is really walkable, but for me, it's not because I live so far away from everything. I feel like I spend so much time complaining about Paris. I should probably talk about the things that are wonderful about it too. I guess I kind of figured that everybody would already know those things, but I think there's more. First of all, I think the culture here is really amazing. I guess what I mean by that is more like the lifestyle. Like I feel like people will stand up for their beliefs I mean, I'm sure everybody saw on the news when back last year in Paris, people were throwing trash all over the streets to protest the retirement age increase. That's a great thing, is that people are voicing their opinions and they want to be heard. I don't feel like in the States, 
everybody does that kind of thing. Also the lifestyle I feel like is so much more laid back. In general in France, I feel like people live more. You know, I feel like in, in the States, we are just so work oriented. And I've noticed that about myself since coming here, how work oriented I am and how I don't know how to just enjoy life. And I feel like that's what I'm, it's a big lesson I'm learning here. You know, life is to be enjoyed and not to be spent working and slaving away. And then of course it is really just a beautiful city. Like somebody's screaming, don't know who that was or why. I really, really love the diversity here. Every single day I take the Metro and I hear so many languages, Swedish, German, Spanish, Arabic, Persian, so many languages, languages I couldn't name, languages I've never heard of. That is so beautiful. People from all over the world live here, from places that I don't even think about, or maybe I do think about, or maybe I haven't heard of, or places that I have heard of. That's something I find really beautiful because I really like to travel and I love learning about the world. Diversity is something that I think is super important and it's so great that Paris has that. Of course, it could be more diverse, it could be more equal, of course. You're gonna find that with any European city, any Western city really. What is something else? The food? You know, I haven't had too much French food. It's not something, honestly, that I really, really like, but the bread here is really good, I have to say. I can eat and chow down on a whole baguette and that's my breakfast, like it's good. I feel like the food here is much more high quality than in the States. You look at the ingredients on a cereal box and they don't, you don't have all these long, long, long names that should not be on there. Like literally, let me show you. Here is a cereal box that I bought. Um, okay, what are the ingredients here? Let's, tr let me try to translate this French. I don't know if I'll know all the words. Almond, wheat, flour, palm oil, Almond, hazelnut, glucose syrup, pecan nuts, Brazil nuts, what's a Brazil nut? Honey, caramel, salt, natural flavors. That's it. Those are the ingredients, okay? I bet if you go and you look at your like Lucky Charms, it's gonna be like long, long, long names that should not be there. And in general, I feel like the health here is taken much more seriously. That's another thing, the healthcare. I went to the doctor last week because I had a sore throat. I had tonsillitis, okay? Antibiotics, I got prescribed antibiotics and I went to the pharmacy to pick them up and I paid seven euros and 50 cents for my antibiotics. And then I also got something else, some other medication for a different problem that I'm not gonna name. And it was also seven euros and 50 cents. And you could never, that's without insurance. That is without insurance because I am American and I don't have health insurance here. Like, let's just put that into perspective for a second. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Like, what would that be in the States? I don't know, a hundred? A hundred dollars, probably something like that. And I complain about being on the Metro so much, but honestly, it's beautiful that I don't have to drive. I hated driving back when I lived in the States. Yes, I know it's a privilege that I was able to use a car and get a driver's license. I was so privileged, but that does not defeat the fact that I hated that I had to do it. I had to drive to school when I lived in an apartment in college. Traffic, ugh. And then it's dangerous, driving is dangerous. Anyways, so I'm very, very glad that I can take the Metro and go anywhere I need to go. Everything I need is in this city. Like, hello, this is the way life should be, you know? It's just not like that in the States. Maybe in select places, New York, maybe LA. No, LA, everybody always says you have to drive everywhere in LA. I don't know, I haven't been there. Maybe Chicago, maybe like specific cities in the States, you don't need to drive. But then they're very expensive and you can't, and healthcare is still really bad. Like Paris, for a city, isn't that bad. It's not that expensive. I can get groceries and I spend like 70 euros a week. That's like 10, 10 euros a day. That's pretty good. But anyways, I do really like living here. Just wanted to say that. All right, so I just finished teaching my English student which means I can go home for the day. It's about 7.30. It's very hard to teach a child. I'm kind of struggling a little bit, but it's all right, I'll figure it out. It's going well, he's starting to pick things up. And anyway, I'm not too far from where I live, so it's like not really that much of an inconvenience or anything, and I get paid, so, you know, the grind is real. But now I'm going home and I'm just going to practice and eat some dinner. And that's my night. Good, good morning. I'm so tired today. It's just not, it's not a look today. 
I have a little bit less of a busy day today. I have a rehearsal with a pianist in like 20 minutes in my house where I live. There's a practice room, so we're good. Don't have to go anywhere. But then I have class. I have a chamber music class at school, and then I have a lesson down at my other school. So I'm kind of running around again today. But after my lesson, I can just practice, so. I hope this vlog has been remotely interesting. I just don't really know what to say. Like, this is genuinely how I live my life, is just kind of running around and getting stuff done. I'm not exaggerating. I'm giving you, like, the true, raw, honest me. This has been a crazy, it's just been a really busy week for me. Um, normally, I do other stuff. Sometimes I'll go to the gym. But anyway, today is going to be the last day of the vlog because tomorrow I'm going to Strasbourg and I am not planning to vlog that. Let's go! school for my lesson. Rehearsal went well this morning, chamber music class was fine, and now I'm here. Isn't, aren't these shutters so like ominous? I've never seen this really in France actually. This is a very Spanish thing. I think I figured out why I feel like I'm so busy. It's not that I actually have that much going on, it's that everything I have is in a different part of Paris. So it's like I have one thing at my apartment, I have one thing at school, I have one thing here, and then I go back to my apartment. So I'm like, Paris is a circle, right? I'm here, this is where I live. Then my school is all the way over here. And then my other school is all the way down here, outside the city, and then go back. It's like, I'm all over the place. And anyway, I'm gonna warm up, and that's the tea. I'll see you later. Hello, welcome to the kitchen. I'm thawing some chicken in the microwave. I'm making chicken pesto. Whoever said they don't like store-bought pesto? You are crazy because store-bought pesto is great. It's so good. It's There's literally nothing wrong with it. Yeah, sure, maybe handmade pesto is better, but I am using store-bought pesto. There's nothing wrong with that and it's gonna be delicious. Random thought, but you know something that's really cheap here in Europe is olive oil. This whole thing of olive oil cost me probably like six, five or six euros. In the States, this would be like 15 to 20 bucks. Just wild. Although olive oil is really bad for the environment, I do not condone the use of it. Okay, it is the next day. I'm about to leave for Strasbourg, but I just need to close out the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's different from my typical content. Um, but I wanted to try something new, and I hope you found it interesting. If it does well, maybe I'll do more stuff like this. If not, I'll just stick to what I do. Yeah, that's about it. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.